temporary storage is out here. And they can go to work with that. Uh, one thing that... No, we'll deal with that maybe when we get to there. Uh, where have I gone? There we go. I've struck Picture Jasper? What the fuck is Picture Jasper? I don't know. There are so many different kinds of minerals and shit in this game, it's ridiculous. I have no idea what anything is. You know, what's Dolomite? I don't know. What's Picture Jasper? I don't know. I mean, Jasper, yeah, I get it. That's like, you know, that's a semi-precious stone, right? We've just struck Lignite. Oh, my stray cat has adopted one of my dwarves. And that, that's the funny thing. Like, the dwarves can adopt various animals to be pets, but the cats actually ab adopt the dwarves, which can lead to some pretty annoying stuff. Uh, oh, oh, here we go. Let me pause the game a bit. This purple skull here, this is a dead thing. Uh, a rat, I see rat remains. So a cat killed a rat, which is very good, because the rats get into your food and eat your food, and that we hate that. problem is, as this decays, it's going to rot and fill up the, uh, the area with miasma, which is just like just stinky clouds of yuckiness and make everyone unhappy. So we need to set up right now a, a refuse stockpile. Outside the refuse can rot and it's perfectly fine. It doesn't bother anyone because um, uh, because the wind is carrying it away. So we're going to set up a refuse pile. Uh, perhaps perhaps one level above so it doesn't bother. The thing is, this is nice and clear. I kind of want to use it for farming perhaps. I don't know. Um, Actually, I should probably get the farming soon. Okay, that's good. Let's set up a pile for refuse. Ne if need be, we can uh, we can change things later. But we're going to set up a garbage heap right over here. And people will pick up that stuff. There you go. And he's carrying it outside. So we we're not going to be polluting anyone. Very, very good. So, you created any boost for me? The, part of the reason I want to start brewing the booze... Let me uh, make sure they're continuing to gather plants here. we got lots of wood sitting around doing nothing, but we want to make sure to have lots of plants too. Although I suppose that's going to keep my, my herbalist slash brewer busy, so maybe that's not good. All right, let's take this out and cut back on the number of plants that are sitting around. Okay. Yeah, they're still bringing stuff in here, so I don't know what the fuck is going on. Add brew. Can you brew a drink now? Of course, you're probably busy picking plants. I don't know. Oh, see, one of my guys just fell asleep. He's got the little Zed in the hallway, so yeah, I, I want to resolve that as soon as possible. Uh, so, um, I can go down here, cancel a couple of barrels. Although we're still having the barrel problem, so I don't know. And we're going to have him build some beds. We're going to build, say, five beds. We're going to set up a communal dormitory to start off with. Eventually, we're going to want everyone to have their own bedrooms. But for now, we're just going to have them share uh, communal space. And we don't need seven beds, even though we've got seven dwarves, because they sort of like work in shifts. So that's all right. So they're still digging down here, which is very exciting. You can see we've got a few more gems embedded in the walls. There's one sitting there, the, the sort of gear icon um, right here. That's uh, So that's some rough picture jaspers, which are just sitting there. There's also still some in the walls. There are clusters in the walls, so we may want to dig that out. And this is lignite, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. We need some of those different types of ores to create steel and such, so it's very valuable to have those around. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've got finally got some brewing going on. I just saw the brewer right here carry an herb into the building and pick up a barrel, and now he's finally brewing some booze. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, keep working. Yeah, see, now we got 70 drink. Okay, so we've got that going on right now. Now, when you're picking plants, plants have seeds, of course. Now, if you just cook the plants, the seeds get destroyed. But when you're brewing, the seeds actually get taken out of the plant. So now that we're going to start having some seed, what we can do is we can build a farm plot. We're going to build one outside. Um, and we're going to grow this a little bit. Uh, some of that stone is getting in the way. That's okay. So we'll build, we'll build a fairly... Whoops. Uh, how do I shrink this again? There we go. Maybe not that big, actually. We're going to want a few different farm plots. 
So I'm going to build a farm right tucked away in this corner here. And just grow it like that. There we go. So we get a farm tucked in there. And eventually one of the people who is marked as a grower, I guess the only guy who's marked as a grower, he's going to come over here. There we go. He's going to plow the earth and get this farm plot ready. And we'll see what we can do with that momentarily. So work is still proceeding here. He's still making barrels. He's still making booze. Uh, just fill his queue with brewing. Hopefully we can get some beds going on soon. But first, the booze. Look, I got my this whole furniture storage is practically filled with barrels now. Now a lot of those have stuff in them. Uh, all the meat we brought on, with us on the trip uh, comes in a barrel. Actually, one of the things you can do if you're really smart is I think you get five meat in a barrel. So you want to bring like six meats or one meat or 11 meat, something like that. Uh, that way uh, you get the maximum number of free barrels. So, you know, it, it's worth uh, just spending the money to get one item of some meat and get a whole bunch of stacks of one meats of different kinds of meats, and then you get a bunch of barrels for free, effectively. But I was not min-maxing too much. Okay, so I think he's done plowing this field. Yep. So now, uh, for each season, so I've got a spring, summer autumn winter I can assign a crop this is based on the seeds we've got now I'm going to uh, tell it, them to plant some prickleberries which are nice and edible and so we can use that for food but also brewing so we're going to do that at first and then we're also going to plant some various grasses in the uh, with the idea that that stuff can hopefully get woven into cloth not as high priority, but we should we should have plenty going around. So, yep, oh, you can see some guys carrying seeds here. The little period in them that's a seed that they're carrying. Now, some of these seeds we brought with us, but some of it we're getting from uh, just from brewing. In fact, I don't think we brought any prickle berries with us. So those are entirely have been picked from berry plants, which is kind of exciting. In fact, there's probably only going to be a few seeds. So almost what I should do is uh, build another plot over here just to have a different crop going on. We can have a series of farms here. That's what I should have done. Just made smaller farms and build another plot. Right here. Good. And so we're going to have the big one. I'm going to change it to be exclusively berries. Oh, we've actually got hide root now, which we didn't have before. D. We're going to have exclusively berries in the big one. And we are going to have the smaller plots grow our grass for us. Because you can only have one plant per farm plot at a time. Uh, so there's no way I have enough seeds to max out this farm plot. They'll probably only use a quarter of it, if anything. So better to have these other plots here. And then we can have a variety of plants going on. We'll use all our seeds sort of as effectively as possible, is the hope. There we go. So we will have, um, we're going to have blade weed growing everywhere on this one. Now, not every crop can grow in every season, but so far it looks like all the ones I've got will grow in every season, so that's okay. And this one here will grow uh, the longland grass, because I had it before, so I know I've got enough seeds for it. Um, there. But we'll see how that goes. So hopefully get lots of crops going on. Okay, so now let's look at things. We've got, uh, we've got plenty of booze, lots of seeds left over, and... Uh, yeah, now we're building beds. So we've got a couple of beds going on here. Good. Well, yeah, I guess this is... Ah, duh. This, the, all these barrels I'm looking at, these are all food barrels. And this is all furniture stuff up here. So I guess these were filled with stuff. Uh, so that's good to know. All right, so we got the beds going on. So we can build... You can say build bed, but, I mean, the beds are already built. And you can see one's been made out of cedar, one's been made out of pine. So you can always organize how things are... Uh, you know, see what everything is made out of. Some of it's more valuable than others, which is kind of interesting. That can come up later. You can have some, like, masterwork produced goods. So our miners are hitting lots of stuff. We've actually found some coal, which is really exciting. Yeah, so, but they're... Oh, and hematite! Where's the hematite?